Since Warcraft realms are down right now for maintenance, I'm going to show you guys in a good video with good sound and uh, good visual how to do what I tried to teach you before but I had a messed up camera, how to uh, decompile a flash file off the web and make it as your own. Uh, let's quickly go on the web. We have to find a website that has some kind of a flash piece in it, something nice that we like. Um, let's type in uh, flash games are the best examples. Uh, actually Newgrounds has the best flash, so Newgrounds.com Newgrounds has massive amounts of flash games and applications. Uh, let's quickly the Assumption song, there you go, this is uh, something in flash uh, that we can grab off real quick and we can watch. So, watch this movie. Okay, in order for us to grab this we have to know what's the address for this flash piece. It looks like we just got it. Now we're going to open that program I was talking about earlier called Flash Hunter. Uh, we're going to place this in a address in Flash Hunter. What Flash Hunter will do right now is parse the address, uh, search for any SWF files which are flash movies, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and make it easy for us to uh, click and save these movies. Um, apparently we didn't get the address because it's in some kind of a frame. Let's see, this movie... The address for it... Uh, these guys get smarter and smarter trying to hide their movies so no one can see no one could do what I'm trying to do right now. Uh, but if we look at the source code, we'll be able to find this movie. I got it. And we'll be able to do whatever we want. So here's the address for the SWF file. Copy it, and we're going to put it into Flash Hunter. And there is the movie, right then and there. Uh, right click it, save it as, in your desktop, let's save it as movie. Done. Saving. And when the status shows saved, you know it's complete. There you go, it's complete. Uh, let's close Internet Explorer. We don't need it anymore. And there is the movie right on our desktop. Guess what? We just copied the movie. That's step one. Uh, when you double click it, you'll see it's right here. Um, fuck you button. Nice. All right, let's click it. And look, there's the movie. Okay, I don't care about this movie, I'm just going to show you how we're going to rip it right now. We're going to right click it, and we're going to download, if you had downloaded a program uh, called SoulThink SWF Decompiler now, this is what we use here, uh, we're going to right click it and chose, choose to decompile it. Observe, uh, decompiler opens, and it's going to read the uh, flash file, movie right here and check it out. It has all everything in the movies here, the video, the images, the shapes, the text, the fonts. We're going to click on export uh, FLA which is the source code. It's going to export it right to our desktop. We're going to let it do its thing. And once it's complete, we'll be notified that it's complete. The program will ask us if we wanted to open it in Flash. So let it rip it. It takes about, uh, I don't know, 15 seconds or so. There you go. Would you like to open it in Flash now? Yes, I would like to open it. Now we're in edit mode. Now the movie has been converted already to source code. We don't need the decompiler no more. And we can do as we want with this movie. We could do as we wish. Uh, check this out. Test movie. Let's see what it looks like right now. Come on pretty big movie. Look at that. Source code, 100% hours. We could do whatever we want. So let's change this. Uh, let's add the piece of text here. It says, I own this piece. Biatch. For the sake of argument, just any amount of text, who cares what we put in. Um, Let's make the font a little bigger. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Let's make it about this big. Let's move it drop dead center. 
Oh, it's a little too big. Let's minimize the text just by a little bit. Move it. Still too big, but you know what? It's fine. Let's preview the movie now with the text change that we just made. And you'll see that what I did actually exists on the movie. Now what I could do is I can publish the movie. I could save it as anything I want. See, I own this bitch. I can change the guy's hat. I can uh, change the voices. I can change anything I want. Uh, do we want to save changes? Yes. I really don't care because I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. This was just a tutorial showing you how I did it, how it's done. Now, you can do this actually with websites that you see that have nice flash pieces that you would want on your website. Um, you could duplicate it, just like my tutorial about duplicating websites. Anything's possible to do. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you find this um, tutorial useful. Um, have a good day, and Happy New Year, Rosh Hashanah. Bye-bye.